Hi, it's Clark from Temptress, and I have another in our Enough is Enough series. Today, we're going to open up a brokerage account. As you know, in this series, we're talking about how to get free, how to either retire young or have enough put aside that you're working because you want to work, not because you have to. We're going to talk about five things. Defining your version of enough and how much money it'll take to achieve it. We're going to talk about habits and motivations and how to make it easy to get there. We're going to talk about understanding the stock market. That's how I saved money and that's what I can talk about. Not real estate, stuff like that. It's great, I'm sure, just not my thing. We're going to talk about actually doing it, nuts and bolts, how to buy a share of stock, how to uh, open an account, and we're going to talk about community. We're going to all find a way to get together and support each other. What you really need and you need to have right from the beginning is how do you get started and the actual doing it. And this is the first in the doing it series. Today, we're going to open up a brokerage account. You need a brokerage account if you to have a place to put the money that you're going to put aside. If you're going to be successful at saving up money, you need to pay yourself first. You need to have some money come out of a percentage of everything you make has to be put someplace. And there's no better place, in my opinion, than a brokerage account. I've been using Schwab as my broker for, well, since the early 90s, I believe. And I really don't know anything about the others. I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they have great programs, but I know about Schwab because it's all I've ever used. I started with them and they've never given me a reason to look elsewhere. They've been absolutely professional. Uh, everything that's ever gone out of the ordinary, they bend over backwards and make it right. Uh, I have never been treated this well by a bank and I don't ever expect to be treated this well by a bank. So I'm going to recommend that you just follow through this video and take 10 minutes out of your life and open up a Schwab account. Some of the reasons why Schwab accounts works out really well, uh, it kind of looks like a bank account in a way. It's going to kind of look like your checking account. You're going to get a book of checks if you want them. You're going to get a Visa card. It's a Visa Platinum uh, debit card if you want it. And you put money in. It pays a bit of interest even if you don't do anything with it. Uh, you can take money out. You can write checks. It looks like a bank account, except... <laughs> The bank charges you fees for everything. Schwab charges fees for nothing. Like if you go to an ATM and swipe your card and the ATM says it's going to cost you five bucks to get that 20 bucks out, say yes. Then look at your statement. When you see the Schwab statement come back, it'll say $25 went to that ATM. Then it'll say, here's five bucks right out of our pocket. We're covering that. This is the way these people do business. They're not trying to nickel and dime you. They make the money on trades. They make the money on the bigger picture. And they're betting you're going to start liking this investing. And they're betting that you're going to become a bigger investor. Basically, they're betting you're going to become rich. That Schwab card is also the best card to have when you travel. Uh, I travel a lot, as you probably know from my other videos. I've swiped that card in a lot of countries. I have found one ATM it didn't work in. And the locals say none of their cards work in it either. It works. And uh, you can kind of really rely that you're going to be able to get to your money. And when you get to your money and it gets converted into local currency, unlike all the other ways of getting it, there's no fee for it. You get the, the money converted from U.S. dollars to pesos at par. These services are just well worth it. And the last reason why you want to open an account with Schwab today is I talked to some people at Schwab and I got this referral code that's down in the description. You use that link, use that referral code. You put a thousand dollars in your account when you open it, they'll give you a hundred bucks. If you want to use some of that hundred bucks to buy me a beer on Patreon, I don't mind, but I don't get anything else out of this. We are just a Schwab customer and I'm just a friend of yours telling you something that's worked for me. Now I'm going to invite my wife Emily over and she's going to in 10 minutes walk you through step by step through the Schwab website and show you how to create an account. It's real easy. Hi everybody, it's Emily and I'm going to show you how to open a Schwab brokerage account in just 10 minutes. It's really simple. There's a link in the description of this video. You're going to click that link or put it into your browser and make sure you have this referral code at the end of your link. That'll make you eligible for that $100 bonus once you fund your account. Now today I'm going to show you how to open a Schwab account 
for a U.S. resident. If you live in another country, you can still do this and you can still get the $100. You just have to use the other link that's in the description below and follow the instructions for the country that you're in. But the $100 bonus is still good for you. Once you go to the Schwab website, uh, that referral page that we link you to, you're going to click on this orange button that says open an account. The next screen is going to ask you what type of account you want to open. Now you may have a retirement account or want to start a retirement account later, that's Roth IRAs, 401ks, those types of accounts. But those accounts have very specific restrictions and limitations that uh, might get in your way down the road. This is going to be your brokerage account, this is going to be your main account that you use to pay yourself first to save money and move money around and invest your money. So we're going to click a brokerage account today and we're going to click an individual brokerage account. Now the next screen is going to ask you if you trade if you plan to trade three or more times per month they want you to enroll in Schwab trading services we recommend you don't click this box this really boils down to a marketing question if you click this box they're going to call you they're going to try and offer you additional services feel free to do it if you want but we're recommending you're not this screen will also tell you that you're going to need your social security number and you're going to need your employer's name and address if you have an employer you're also going to need your permanent address once you've clicked continue, you're going to arrive at the next screen. The next screen is going to confirm your confirmation code from us so you can earn that $100. Make sure you copy that code from the description of our video so you can get that. And you're going to say, no, I'm new to Schwab because we're going to create a new account for you. If you already have a Schwab account, you can log in with your credentials. But we're going to assume that you're new today. When you arrive at the next screen, you're just going to enter some basic information for yourself. So we're going to enter our first name and our last name. We're going to enter an email address. And we're going to enter a social security number. Then we're going to enter our date of birth. And our mother's maiden name. Now, if you've done this all right and you're not a Schwab customer, you're going to get a screen to create a login ID. Your login ID has to be six characters, letters and numbers as usual. So, we're going to enter a username, we're going to enter a password, we're going to enter a security question. And you're going to click on next. Okay, now you need a street address. And you're going to be in the United States, most likely, your mobile phone number. And you're going to want to answer yes at your legal address. That doesn't mean they're going to necessarily mail you information, but they want to know what your mailing address is. If you've moved in the last six months, you'll need to provide an extra mailing address, your previous address. Um, but we're going to assume that you've been at the same place for a little while. All right. Now, if you are employed, you can enter your employer information, your occupation, their address, etc., etc. For the ease of this, we're going to just say that we're not employed. You're going to have to answer what your annual income is. And you're going to click Next. All right, now these next few questions, you're most likely just going to answer no, no, no. It's asking if you are affiliated with uh, a firm or a broker. You're probably not. Are you a director of a publicly uh, held company? Probably not. And if you'd like to add another person, perhaps your spouse or somebody else, to help have access to your account, you can do this. I'm going to click No. All right, then it's going to ask, where is your money coming from? Um, this won't necessarily affect the outcome of your uh, account, but we're just going to click Salary and Rages because we have a job. And the purpose of our account is just general investing. Click Next. All right, now it's going to ask you if you want to add any additional features to your account. By default, margin trading is checked. And we're going to recommend that you uncheck that box. Margin trading means you're going to be able to spend more money than what's in your account. Essentially, it's going to make it so that you can be overdrawn. And we don't want to get into that. Um, there's some other options here that you can uh, select or not select. 
Um, the only one that we would really recommend is checks. If you want a free checking account through Schwab and a free debit card with all those perks that Clark talked about, you can select checks. However, if you intend to keep your bank account separate and keep this as a special account where you're just putting money away from yourself and you don't want to touch it, you might not want checks included in your account because it avoids that ease of spending the money there. Then you can select if you want to receive paperless uh, reports, trade confirmations, and things like that. Probably you want to avoid as much mail as possible, and you're going to click Next. All right, now you're going to consent to a whole bunch of things. The first one is consenting that you're allowing Schwab to use your electronic signature instead of a paper signature. The second one is that you're confirming to um, receive paperless statements, so you're not going to receive things in the mail. You're going to have to check your email account for those types of notifications. There's a one here that is about just legal agreements with Schwab. There's one that says that it's asking you to define if you are a professional or a non-professional subscriber. If you're registered with the SEC and you're an investment advisor or you work for a bank or you're using this for business or professional purposes, you're probably not watching this video. So you're probably going to be a non-professional subscriber. But read it carefully, determine which one you are, and then check the box to agree. This cash features program is basically just telling you that they're going to work like a bank account. When you have money in this account, you're going to be able to earn interest on it because they're going to use your money as any other bank would. And then you need to answer truthfully whether you are subject to tax withholding from the IRS. We're going to assume that you're in good standing with the IRS and then click the checkbox. And lastly, you're going to agree to the terms and services like you would with any other online service. So read through those and click your checkbox and then you're going to click submit. All right, now your account is being opened. You can see our little progress bar going up pretty darn quickly. Uh, you need some additional ID to verify you're a real person, confirm your identity so that we can set up your account. So you can do that by fax, you can do that by uploading something like your driver's license. Um, you can also visit a Schwab branch and provide those documents to them or call them and they might be able to help you that way. You're gonna have to do that before you fund your account. So. We're going to presume that you entered correct information for a real human being and you have all that and you can do that. Once you've done that, it's just a matter of putting some money in your account and you can do that several ways. You can transfer money online using a check, the routing number and account number on a check or a debit card. You can also transfer money from another account if you have an investment account or an online bank account, you may be able to do it that way. You can also mail a check to Schwab, which is quite easy to do. Or you can visit a Schwab branch and drop off a check. Regardless of how you do it, you're going to want to put some money in your account. If you put a minimum of $1,000 into this brokerage account, within about 30 days, you're going to see $100 on your statement. I opened my Charles Schwab account a couple years ago and I went to a branch and somebody helped me out there. Because I did it at a branch, they didn't have to do these extra steps to verify my identity. I had my driver's license right there. They opened up the account and I literally got the $100 that day while I was sitting in the chair in the office. The $100 went into my account before my first deposit, which was $5,000, went into my account. So my statement actually shows the $100 coming in soon, and a couple weeks later, they got my $5,000 to fund my account. And you can see on the bottom line here, $5,100. So again, you'll need a minimum of $1,000 in your account to get that, but once you do, hey, you just made 10% on your money, and it didn't take more than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So you now have a brokerage account with Schwab. In our next video, we're going to tell you how to take that account and some of the money that's in it and how to invest it, how to get it working for you. Mm -hmm. So thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below because Clark will answer just about every comment that comes in. Uh, he loves doing that. And uh, speaking of answering questions, if you haven't signed up to join the Enough is Enough community, there's a survey link in the description that you can sign up. We already have about 50 people around the world mm -hmm. uh, in various countries who are interested in talking to other people who are trying to live this way and trying to achieve this enough in their lives and uh, compare notes. So if you want to join that, check out the survey and as usual subscribe so that you get notified about our next video thanks so much for watching we'll see you guys next time bye